everybody. Good morning. Hello. Um, I've had an awesome morning. It's been really bizarre. So obviously I'm on the socials. I'm on all of them, like Insta and TikTok and all the things. And TikTok's been, um, I got the message ages ago. So this is just a, this is not about me and my socials. This is about life. This is about shit that happens where we go, oh, I've got a feeling I've got to go in this direction or I want to put this in place or this is going to happen or whatever. And then it feels like things are moving at the pace of a glacier. Not a melting one, but an actual glacier. So, um, and you plot along going, what the fuck? I got this message. I thought that felt right. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, that was the situation with me with TikTok. I, I got the um, the feeling, the vibe, whatever, that I should be on TikTok. I'm like, fuck, another thing to do. Okay, sure. Love it. I love looking at TikTok. It's hilarious. It's fucking, it's great. But um, I was going, okay, so we've put that in place and up and running and plodding along, getting one or two new followers a week. It was quite a slow process. Woke up this morning. Fuck me. I got like 300 new followers. I don't know what happened, but I love it. It's great. But it's that thing where you don't always get to choose. Like you've got to put shit out there for things to happen though. So don't hold yourself back. You might be, I don't know, like changing circumstances, whether that's relationship, job, finances, whatever, whatever you're doing and going, oh, I feel like I've got to do this and I've put this in place and this hasn't worked and what the fuck. And then you'll suddenly find, boom, fucking everything takes off for you. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. If, if what you're doing is creating zero movement and all, then change the fucking thing. But if what you're doing is like that little bit of momentum, just be ready for things to take off in a beautiful way. Be willing for it to happen. Be open to it happening because it is totally there for you. We don't get these gorgeous messages from the universe just to fuck with us. Although sometimes it does feel like that, I've got to say. So, you know, get on it. But anyway, there's stuff that comes through that, you know, we go, right, this feels right. It feels so good. It's amazing. And then it either falls in a heap or changes direction or isn't what we thought. But it doesn't mean it's wrong. It doesn't mean that you fucked up. It doesn't mean you're being punished. It just means to put you in a place where you're supposed to be for the next level of, of, of growth or learning or whatever the fuck it is we're here for. So don't, you know, beat yourself up about shit that hasn't felt right because it's leading you to what is right. And there is huge amounts of growth and opportunity and whatever around the corner. Just keep going. Keep going. You're already fucking amazing. You don't have to, um, you know, feel like there's there's um, mystery or magic or whatever to life you're doing life and you're already fucking amazing don't forget that you're already sensational if an opportunity that was in front of you didn't turn out how you thought then there's another one and it'll probably be fucking better so you know get off your ass keep moving go in the right in the direction that you that you feel is right because when it doesn't feel right you'll change it because you are that fucking clever don't forget that yes don't forget Oh, look at this. I love this. <clears throat> I love a bit of contrast. So my coffee cup. Hubby bought me a coffee this morning, which was fucking amazing. That was a win. The fucking nut cup. But check out the card. Hoo-hoo. abso fucking lutely Yes. Yes, yes. All the yeses. Let's read that one. 34, obviously, from my fucking honest deck, which is available from all my stockists and me. You get it from me, you get this little personalised card, which I oh, know. Oh, I think they're gorgeous. My beautiful friend Lisa, God, she's clever. Look at these beautiful things that she makes. They're all individually handmade. They're gorgeous. Anyway, everybody gets one of them just because I, I probably shouldn't. Like financially, not the smartest move, but oh, I thought they make me feel good. I just love them. Anyway, absolutely fucking lutely yes. Yes, yes, all the fucking yeses. For fuck's sake, put your energy behind whatever the fuck this thing is and run with it. Your angels and guides have put a fuck ton of support right behind you and are just waiting for you to press the go switch. Utilize it, do it, go. Yes, absolutely go. Go, 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 go. Stop fucking around. That could be another one. That would be actually another very good card. Stop fucking around. Um, there's definitely opportunities to stop energy draining out of you and go in the direction that you need to go. Aren't we good at procrastinating? So fucking good at it. So good. Uh, but it's not going to get you to where you need to go. So we will kind of balk at opportunities a little bit because that's what we do because we're human. So watch yourself with that. Be aware. But it, your awareness of that will make you, yeah, will keep you on track a little bit better and keep you moving forward where you're supposed to be so that you can have this fucking flurry of positive stuff come your way and this huge amounts of, of good movement and growth and without you expending a shitload of energy to do it, riding the waves when they're there. So if you feel like things are going slow, don't panic. They will speed up. It just may not be your choices to win. So, you know, hold on tight, ride that right wave. Um, I wish I could surf so I could understand surfing analogies, but I just see waves as fucking dangerous, to be honest, probably because I'm in Australia and who, who knows what the fuck is in there that's going to eat me. I'm not scared of things eating me in the ocean. I think if I go in there, it's probably my fault. That's really their domain, but... 
know, it's not so much the things in the water, it's the actual fucking water that will try to kill you as well in Australia. I don't, I don't know. You know, sure. I'll go, yeah, I'll go in up to my knees. I may even paddle around like a kid, you know, walking on my arms in the knee-depth water, but actual swimming in the ocean, fucking terrified. Anyway, uh, more information about me than you really needed to know, but anyway. Um, look after yourself. Be nice to you. I have absolutely jumped back on the water bandwagon, which I am my body is thrilled with. Um, and I'm surprised that, like, I drank and drank and drank. I actually drank my two whatever litres of water yesterday. And the pee situation wasn't too bad, which was good, which means my body was screaming for hydration. Um, I drink when I'm... I drink water. I always think, oh, right, I'm going to drink more water, and then it doesn't happen. So it's another one of those things that is in and out. It comes in and out. So, But I, I do highly recommend you drink more water. It's very, very good for you. It's good for your downloads. It's good for your connection. It's good for everything to do with you. And you deserve looking after, so fucking do it. It's a beautiful, easy way to do it. Love the shit out of yourself. Give yourself an enormous amount of love. Buy a deck of cards if that's your thing. Book a session. Do whatever the fuck you want. Just love the shit out of you. See you soon. Bye.